Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today will be the last video in our kind of mini-series reviewing the Cachette open source dashboard. So I will link that again in the description below. And topic of today is this pair of values. I just wanted to quickly demonstrate for those of you who don't know that there is a field, specific field in the form builder of Filament called key value. So in case of Cachette, the example is meta values for components. I'm not actually sure what that means, but let's just try to enter something and let's see how it lands in the database. So there's edit component page, we fill that in and we add, for example, first key value one, then we add more row like second row value two, and then there's enabled, which is a separate field. So let's enable that. And in the code, it looks like this, just key value with the name of meta or whatever name you choose, and then column span full, this is optional. And then we save the changes. Okay. And how does it look in the database? So this is the components database table. And before I saved the meta field was empty, we refresh and now it contains JSON value. So here on the right side where you may see first one, second two, this is JSON. So if you need some kind of settings for your records, unstructured key value pairs, key value, form builder field may be a good solution. And of course you may delete one of those and you may also reorder it. One of the documentation sections is about where was that? Of course you can make it deletable or not. A few more customizations like key label, placeholder, value label and stuff like that. And also you may make it reorderable. That's the thing that I wanted to show you. So these arrows appear and then the values are reorderable. Actually, let's try that out really quickly. Key value reorderable this. So we refresh our page. We have first and second and let's try to change the values, save changes and then refresh the database. Nothing really changed in the JSON. So if we refresh, we'll still see first and second weird. So maybe that reorderability doesn't work really well. Let's try to add a new row. Yep, second still goes down. So something is fishy here. I'm not sure why it's not working just by putting the reorderable. Maybe something else needs to be configured. Actually, let's quickly look in the docs. I don't see anything specific here. So maybe something doesn't work under the hood in filament. Maybe I just accidentally found a bug in the filament itself or the underlying tools. You may try it yourself and then comment below whether it works for you guys. But yeah, key value pair is a quick way to save unstructured data in a JSON format in the field of the database with filament. What do you think? What would be the use cases for you to use that field? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.